how are stocks selected for fndo that is derivative segment enhanced eligibility criteria of fndo stocks so last year sebi had released a circular regarding this enhanced criteria and this year it has been implemented from july 2018 so all the points regarding the enhanced criteria eligibility criteria is listed here so let us see one by one the very first point is top 500 in average daily market capital and average daily traded value that is a stock should be in the top 500 ranks regarding average daily market capital so market capital denotes the size of the company so it should be among the top 500 in the size average daily traded value the stock should be highly popular among the traders and uh, the daily traded value should be also be higher so in that also it should be among the top 500 rank so this is the first condition for enhanced eligibility criteria and this is calculated on a 6 months rolling basis the second point is median quarter sigma order size that should be at least 25 lakhs now we don't need to go into what is median quarter sigma order size or how it is being calculated we can just assume that it is also a measure of liquidity of the stock the third point market wide position limit should be at least 500 crores now what is market wide position limit it is nothing but 20 percentage of the non promoter holding or otherwise called as free float and the fourth point average daily delivery value in cash market should be at least 10 crores now this is a new criteria which has been added as a part of enhanced eligibility criteria so the cash market trading is also taken into account to bring the stock into fndo segment so that should be at least 10 crores now if any stock is meeting all these four enhanced criteria then it will remain in cash settlement mode now if, if any of the criteria is not met for three continuous months then the stock will be moved to physical settlement in fndo segment for a period of one year now what is cash settlement and what is physical settlement cash settlement in fndo means on the final day that is the expiry day if there is any outstanding positions they will be settled for either a profit or a loss that is cash settlement now physical settlement has come into the picture from july 2018 so what is physical settlement all the outstanding positions on the expiry day will be compulsorily settled in physical format that is the shares have to be delivered to the demat accounts if you are a buyer in futures then you have to compulsorily buy the shares if you are a seller in futures you have to compulsorily compulsorily give delivery of shares so that is physical settlement so if any of the criteria is not met by the stock for continuously 3 months then that stock in fndo segment will be moved to physical settlement for a period of 1 year so the result as of july 2018 the result of these enhanced eligibility criteria is that 46 stocks is going to be moved to physical settlement from july 2018 and other highly liquid and big stocks like infosys reliance industries they will remain in cash settlement system continuous eligibility criteria for fndo stocks now this continuous eligibility criteria are little bit lower than the enhanced eligibility criteria limits so the enhanced eligibility criteria limits mwpl market wide position limit was 500 crores here it is 200 crores and there median quarter sigma in enhanced eligibility criteria the median quarter sigma order size was 25 lakhs here it is 5 lakhs so in continuous eligibility criteria the average monthly turnover in derivative segment should be at least 100 crores so these are the three conditions if these three conditions are not met for 
3 months continuously then that stock will be eliminated from f and o meaning the existing stock existing contracts based on that stock will be allowed to expire it will be there till that expiry date but new contracts will not be issued based on that stock so that is about continuous eligibility criteria so consider that one stock has been eliminated because it did not follow continuous eligibility criteria for 3 months it has been excluded now how can it get back into fundo segment again that stock the excluded stock should meet enhanced eligibility criteria continuously for 6 months to be considered for inclusion into f and o segment so it is 6 months continuously you have to meet enhanced eligibility criteria